this to Matthew Pennycook. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The 2021 Progress Report, published by the Climate Change Committee last month, stated the following, and I quote, A pattern has emerged of government strategies that are later than planned, and when they do emerge, short of the required policy ambition. Now, despite its characteristic politeness, that is a damning critique from the government's own climate advisers. I take from the Minister's previous answer that this House this morning has been given a cast-iron guarantee that a net zero strategy will be published well in advance of COP26. Can she confirm that's the case? And does she also recognise that the credibility of structured strategy is predicated on a substantive Treasury net zero review that sets out precisely how the benefits and burdens of the transition will be shared fairly? Minister. Sorry, Mr Speaker. Um, thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, of the 92 recommendations that the Climate Change Committee made in their 20 uh, 21 progress report, 40 have been achieved or partly achieved, and another 32 are underway, meaning progress against over 75% of the recommendations. Uh, and our forthcoming strategies, including on hydrogen, transport, and our comprehensive net zero strategy, will set out more of the policies that the Climate Change Committee is calling for in their recommendations. Uh, clearly, I cannot speak uh, for the Treasury, who will be publishing uh, the Treasury uh, review, but I know that that is also very, very well advanced.